Welcome back. The Attorney General's office is asking you, the residents of North Carolina, to help take on those annoying robocalls we're all too familiar with. WXI 12's Leanne Denyer spoke with the AG today about a new initiative aimed at stopping them and why they're more of a problem than just an annoyance. Your phone rings. You think an important call is coming in, so you pick it up. Turns out it's one of those annoying robocalls. They are annoying, sure. But the Attorney General's office says these kinds of calls are actually scamming people right here in our state out of huge amounts of money. He says he hopes a new initiative will put an end to this kind of fraud. Talking to us via video call from Raleigh. All right, sir, we're all set when you are. Attorney General Josh Stein says he wants to put an end to fraud via robocalls. It's gotten completely out of control, and these are people who do not respect the do not call list. They're criminals, and I'm just personally offended by their behavior. Press one right now. He says billions of dollars worth of fraud occurs from those pesky calls. To combat them, he's launched Operation Silver Shield, an anti-robocall initiative. What we want to do is then partner with the phone companies and trace back where does this call come from? Where was it originated? In the hopes that we can identify if any of these bad actors exist in North Carolina and then we can shut them down. Could you give us some insight into the extent of the problem in North Carolina specifically? Yes, there, there are literally billions of these calls made to North Carolinians. We all get them every day. Additionally, he wants the community to help by reporting those calls. Operation Silver Shield allows people to report robocalls online at the address you see on your screen or by calling a new staffed hotline dedicated to robo-reporting. That number is 844-8-NO-ROBO. Let us know about who's calling you, what phone number, what they're pitching, and it will help us to investigate these criminals. In just the first week, more than 1,100 complaints have already come in. Robocalls are an incredible frustration to everybody, uh, but they're particularly bad when it comes to the most vulnerable in our country, in our state. More elements of this initiative will be rolled out throughout the year. The Attorney General says oftentimes it's senior citizens and other vulnerable people who fall victim to these kinds of scams. He says millions of dollars in claims have already come into his office. He's hopeful that this new reporting tool will help bring those numbers down. Leon Denier, WXII.